reaction video. Um, like I said, I was going to try to get them out sooner rather than later, and that's what I'm going to do here. So that's what we promised. That's what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with the similar trend of the um, Budweiser Nitro Gold. Um, and stick with a newer beer from a brand that we all know. And that today is going to be the Coors Organic. Alright, so this Coors Organic, if you're looking at the can, it uh, looks a little bit different than a normal can. You got the Paul Slim style. Still looking at 355 milliliters for us Canadians. Um, I don't know what the version is for fluid ounces, so sorry Americans. Um, looking at the packaging, you are looking at the series of gold mountains, a blue forest, white sky, Coors, organic. What's that in the middle there? That would be it saying that it only has 90 calories and 4 grams of carbs. So if we're going to compare that to a Coors Light of the same can size, Coors Light has a hundred and two calories and five grams of carbs. The other difference between the two that you can see from the packaging, besides the obvious can shape difference, is 3.8% alcohol to the four uh, Coors Lights. Um, what else with the packaging is you're looking at, at least here in Canada, we have a nutrition facts table um, on the cans. Um, so it just tells you all the breakdown of everything. Um, your ingredients are listed as water, organic malted barley, organic hops, and yeast. Organic. No pesticides touch these products. Um, on the side here it says that it is uh, brewed with premium ingredients, Coors Organic, takes refreshment to new heights, certified organic by QAI, and it has, at least in Canada, it has the seal that uh, all of our certified organic products have. So there you go, certified organic. So, other than that, like I said, you're getting the, the calorie and carb difference. Um, let's find out if this tastes any different than Coors Light, or if this is just a prettied up Coors Light. Eventually, I want to get a poor camera, so this pour will look a lot better and not be as kind of awkward for me. But uh, here we go. So there it is, there's the pour. Um, as we can see, it's a uh, pretty clear standard light beer color uh, with lots of carbonation. Um, there is a considerable amount of carbonation coming up from that bottom. Uh, the head, as you can see, is already uh, dropping down. Um, but there is lots of carbonation in that beer. Um, pretty darn clear, as you can see, as you can see my face through the beer. Um, let's, uh, Give her a sniff here and see what she smells like, see if there's anything different out of it. So, it, it, to me, it smells just like what a what you would come to expect from drinking a light beer. Uh, there's nothing that's really off-putting out of the smell. Um, it's, it, is, it is what it is. It's, it smells like a light beer. Alright, we'll uh, give her the old taste test and see uh, what results come from that. So at first you get that 
that crisp, clean taste you kind of get, that you've come accustomed to if you drink light beers regularly. Uh, the only difference I'm finding is during that crisp, clean taste, you're getting quite a bite from all the carbonation that uh, is still uh, coming into that beer. The only difference I'm picking up from it in like your normal light beer is there seems to be a like a mild like earthy taste that kind of comes like towards the back end well it lingers a little bit like an aftertaste of it But yeah, that's 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 about what I'm gonna. Only really what I'm getting out of it is it's, it's a crisp, clean taste with a uh, a bite at the start of it, um, and then a earthier taste towards the back end of it. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it right there with that. It's, it is what it is when it comes to that. Um, I could see the, the earthy taste kind of being off-putting um, some people. I don't mind it as much myself. Um, really what I think, really what I think that this beer is, is it's um, similar to what I said about the the Budweiser Nitro, um, where it's a beer, um, like a big name beer trying to target a uh, market in the organic field, which is generally, I've noticed more of a uh, craft beer style, but they're also knocking out two birds, one stone, and giving you the low cows, low carbs, uh, that the, the more health conscious drinker is looking for. So that's why you're getting two birds, one stone knocked out on that. Um, getting an organic certified beer that is also better for you than a normal beer um, in the carb and calorie count. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I think Coors is directing that at. So if you are looking for that type of beer, um, I would say, yeah, give give the Coors Light Organic um, a, a try. Um, if you're not a fan of the earthy taste, um, I'd say probably not the beer for you. Uh, there are, if you are looking for a low-cal, low-carb beer, there are many other ones out on the market as well um, that kind of give you the more traditional light beer taste. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's kind of what I think Coors is going with on this one, where they're looking to kill essentially two birds, one stone. We're going to get the organic crowd. We're going to get the health conscious crowd and go from there. Also, they're looking at it as like, I think with Labatt, or Labatt's and Anheuser-Busch does with their um, trials when they go after like what would traditionally be a, a craft beer style type idea where they're trying to get their customers that already religiously buy their beers um, that maybe were thinking of trying these other ones, but they don't know the names behind them, so they're not going to try them. They'll, they'll get them in on it. Um, but yeah, so Coors Light Organic is a low-cal, low-carb, high in carbonation, um, beer. It's crisp, clean, um, earthy F taste, like I said. But yeah, that's that's all I can really say about that, guys. Um, if you have tried this beer, let me know in the comments below if you think the same thing I'm thinking, or if you think something different. If you haven't tried this beer and you think, oh, I'm going to try this beer, also let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, so again, uh, this is Dan with the Beer Guys saying life is too short for just one beer. And uh, cheers, guys. Have a good one.